Miko, talk us through that second round, 72. Nice early start for you this morning. Yeah, it was a nice round. Nothing nothing special, really. Played played the course like it should be played, I think. Strategic course. Didn't hit it quite as uh, close as yesterday, so that's why probably just shot level par, but I'm happy with level par. We know you to be quite a cool, uh, calm, relaxed guy who, who plays his own game. At what point in this tournament do you pay attention to someone like Yannick Paul, who's flying up that leaderboard very, very early in the week? Uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see in the weekend then what happens. So things can change quickly around this course. That brings me on to my next question. How much of a premium do you pay on, on temperament and patience around here? Well, quite a lot, yeah. I think you just need to stay patient. And uh, I made a double today on 17 and just can't miss it to the rough on that whole period. 17 certainly is probably maybe one of the signatures of this course. What does it do for you, especially when it's your penultimate hole, you're trying to keep around together and make sure you don't let any scores uh, run away? Yeah, just try to hit the fairway and just believe on the number, really. That's that's a key. Well, best yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah, it's a very good round today. I didn't go too far as well, but... Put, putterin varressa tuntuu ehkä vähän paremmalta jopa, mutta ei, ei ollut pöydipaikkoja niin paljon, mutta hyvä kierros. We know you not to pay too much attention to the lead of all and, and stay in, in your own game. At what point this weekend might you pay attention to someone like Yannick Paul, who, who seems to be running away at the moment? Joo, katsotaan sitten tuossa viikonloppuun, että mitä tapahtuu, että aika, aika useinhan joku siellä pelaa kovaa, ja, mutta tota, mä luulen, että se tasoittuu tuossa viikonloppuna. Mutta katsotaan. Thanks, Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.